Now, new images tonight. This is the aircraft that U.S. forces used in their strikes against Iran-backed militant groups in Iraq and Syria on Friday. Alina Shirazi is live for us in Washington with more details on the attacks. And Alina, there is strong reaction and some criticism from lawmakers tonight. What are you hearing? Well, Natasha, Democrats are saying that the president took swift action, but Republicans, on the other hand, saying the strikes happened way too late, giving Iran and their proxies time to mobilize. And we shall respond. The United States striking back as promised. Friday strikes in Syria and Iraq happened after Biden returned to his Delaware home after meeting with the families of three service members killed in Jordan last weekend. Information we obtained from U.S. Central Command shows U.S. forces struck more than 85 targets between seven locations in a half hour. Targets included operation centers, intelligence centers, rockets, missiles and drone and ammunition storage. Forces carried out strikes using long-range heavy bombers, including B-1B Lancers. The strike involving also more than 125 precision-guided munitions. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers responding. House Speaker Mike Johnson saying in part, the tragic deaths of three U.S. troops in Jordan perpetrated by Iran-backed militias demanded a clear and forceful response. Unfortunately, the administration waited for a week and telegraphed to the world, including to Iran, the nature of our response. Representative Buchanan responding, couldn't agree more. We should have been prepared long ago with targets identified so we could respond swiftly and forcefully and make clear that there will be severe consequences for anyone that attacks American troops. Democrats like Senator Jack Reed applauding the retaliation saying this was a strong proportional response. In fact, the 85 targets struck mark a greater number than the prior administration. John Kirby lining the ultimate goal of the strikes. The United States does not seek conflict with Iran or in the broader Middle East, but as President Biden has made clear, we will not hesitate to defend our people and hold responsible all those who harm Americans at a time, at a place of our choosing. That began tonight but it will not end tonight. And Republican Representative Don Bacon of Nebraska commenting on the strikes today on X saying, we have to strike the snake in the head or it will keep biting you. Natasha? Okay, Alina Shirazi live at the White House tonight with that. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.